Welcome Capricorn, y'all. I'm back with another video. Oh, <laughs> the tower and the magician want to jump out. So some of y'all, there is a tower moment or something that's coming out of the blue that you manifested. That just flew out. <laughs> some of you guys could be seeing the number 555 five, five, or a bunch of fives. I feel like there's something coming there's something here or there's something out of the blue that's coming. I feel like this is something that you guys may have manifested knowingly or unknowingly. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, South Node, North Node, Capricorn. So if you have Capricorn anywhere in those places, you can utilize this video. If you're interested in booking a personal, all that information is in the drop box below. And um, as well, check out the website, guys. My website, I do sell handmade ritual oils as well as um, I have Yanni care items as well as spiritual pieces, spiritual protection pieces. So head over to the website, guys. All of that information is in the drop box below as well. All right. So let's talk Capricorn. Let's see what messages we got for y'all. What message is there for Capricorn for the remainder of February, please? For the remainder. Okay. Let's stop right here. We got the Seven of Cups. You know what? I'm tired of y'all. I'm so tired of my Capricorns. Y'all need to make a decision. Okay. Now it looks like y'all are regretting some type of decision. What is going on with y'all? Like, <laughs> what is this? Uh, Y'all are so confused and lost. I need y'all to... <laughs> we got the Page of Swords. Who y'all spying on? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Six of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, Moon, <laughs> Y'all are big time spying. Page of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Hanged Man. Y'all are watching somebody from your past. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries. I'm picking up Pisces as energy. Why is the Page of Swords here? Y'all are watching somebody and y'all regretting a decision. Okay, why is the page of swords here? Two of swords. Like I said, a decision. There's the two of pentacles. I knew it was going to show up. <laughs> two of swords. Y'all can't make up your mind. Why is the two of swords here? Y'all don't know if y'all coming or going. There's the seven of cups. You're confused. You're confused. Uh, there's been some type of drama. Okay. Five of swords and the tower. There's been some type of drama here. Possibly that you tried to avoid, but you got caught up in it. Could be family. Okay. Somebody made somebody mad. Gosh, that's, you're confused. Why is the Six of Cups here? I'm just going to say, I'm just going to call this reading. It's complicated. Status. Relationship status. Whatever. It's complicated. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um... There's an offer here. Somebody offered you something or you offered somebody something. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Maybe you aren't sure if you wanted to accept this offer. Maybe you regret that you didn't accept the offer in the past. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Strength card. 
could be dealing with the Leo. So it looks like you're spying on possibly a Leo. You're possibly spying on a Leo. Why is the strength card here? Page of Cups. So it looks like you possibly ghosted this person or this person ghosted you. And somebody ran back possibly to a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But there's some regrets here. I feel like you're regretting there was a third party, okay? The Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So you're regretting this decision now. I feel like you was giving this person hope that there was possibly going to be some type of relationship. Um, but the, somebody fumbled the ball here. Because here's the offer with the Knight of Cups. But some type of truth actually came out. And this just changed the whole dynamic of the situation. Okay. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles. You could be going through some financial issues. This is why you're possibly regretting this decision. Somebody here could have been very beneficial to you um, in the past. But somebody showed, put a stop to something. Um, somebody wanted a relationship. Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This is why it looks like there's a stop. Or somebody... As guard is up for you to uh, try to push through to them. And they may feel like you're just giving them false hope, especially with the Seven of Swords. And it's Three of Cups. Yeah, they feel like you were giving them false hope. But I feel like somebody did want a connection here. Um, I just don't feel like it manifested. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Hierophant. You may feel like the best thing for you to do was to cut this person off. You may feel like the best thing for you to do was to cut this person off. I keep getting that. Somebody was giving somebody hope for facts that there was going to be a relationship. And all of a sudden, the tower moment came in. That's That was undeniable. Like The tower moment came in. And shattered this this connection. Um, somebody got tired of waiting. Four of Swords and Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody got tired of waiting. This person got tired of waiting on you. Why is the hard for him? Three of Pentacles. I'm getting there was a chance. I feel like the universe stepped in on this connection, okay? I feel like the universe stepped in on this situation because this, something about this situation, uh, somebody was dealing with some temporary feelings here, the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Somebody was playing with somebody's emotions, playing with somebody's feelings. Um, Five of Swords, somebody got it done real bad. Somebody was playing with somebody's feelings. And it did not, this situation was, I don't, I don't know if this was meant to be successful. Okay, because we got the Ten of Swords and the Six of Wands. There was no success here. Yeah, look, look at this. The Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. It's like the universe stepped in, like, hold on, wait a minute. Um, yeah, let me close this chapter here because this, this ain't it. Okay, now let's talk about this page of pentacles here in the past. Three of wands, maybe you're waiting for this person to communicate with you, but I'm definitely getting that there was a, a 
breakup or some type of sorrow, pain, or third party involved. We got two threes here. So definitely a third party could be involved. There could be family even involved, but I'm getting like there's some conflict possibly over money or someone's family is involved. There's like some issues, somebody intervening, intervening in this connection. Too many people in uh, intervening in this connection that it became burdensome, okay? It was like a burden. So somebody decided to walk away. And also, the truth came out. Somebody told, spoke their truth. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords, somebody definitely told their truth. Could be a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody found out that they were being juggled. Somebody found out that they were being juggled. All right, now now we got the Emperor here for future energy. Aries is energy. Emperor. All right. Okay, we got the Nine of Cups. I feel like some of y'all are afraid to try, afraid to take accountability for a situation or responsibility. Now, with the Emperor, he is very... Um, Stubborn could be as well as kind of controlling as well, but I'm also getting like the good side to the emperor is taking responsibility, taking accountability um, for situations, taking control of the situation. I still feel like somewhere along the line, somebody gave somebody false hope that there was going to be some something that that did not manifest. I don't know if it was your intentions for it to manifest, but I feel like somebody is having like some sleepless nights over this and i'm getting like you gave somebody some tough love the king of swords and the lovers here <laughs> we got the king of pentacles here as well why is the nine of cups here i feel like you you got what you wanted out of the deal here your cups were filled Ooh, the hermit The Ten of Swords. I feel like for some reason, I'm just getting like you're avoiding. I feel like you're avoiding responsibility for this situation. Like you don't, I, I just don't see you wanting to uh, balance this situation out. I feel like. This situation could have been a little toxic. Not a little toxic, extremely toxic. Um, we got the magician and the six of wands. I feel like you want to you are trying to manifest the victory out of this situation. Dang, why is the ten of swords here? Maybe you're wishing that you would have avoided. Uh, this situation being t happening like this. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Temperance, like I said, there's no balance. I don't feel like this situation can be fixed. Um, the Ten of Swords and the Temperance card, this could be how you're viewing this situation now. Maybe you want to give this person some space. Maybe you decide that you want to kind of like ghost this situation because you don't see a way that this situation can be fixed. Because I feel like this chapter is being closed with a lot of disappointments and a lot of heartbreak and, and sorrow. Okay, somebody even here possibly wants karma. Okay, they want justice. Somebody here even wants justice. Okay, now we got the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be walking away from a Leo to go towards a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a connection there. I am getting that there is some type of attachment, some type of uh, extreme attachment that someone has here, possibly with the water sign. But I'm getting like this situation here. We'll see. We got the moon card here. Why's the moon here? The moon is things that are hidden, things that are kept a secret. 
Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Yeah. I feel like you're spying on this person because I got to connect the moon and the Page of Swords. That's definitely a spy. But I feel like there's an ending here. We got the Ten of Pentacles. And I'm getting like you, you're ready for something new. Okay, so with the Two of Wands, I feel like the Two of Wands and the Ace of Wands and the Fool, like you're ready for some new energy. You may feel like holding on to this is just a waste of time. It's, 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 um, it's, it's, it's stressful. Okay. It's stressful. It's toxic. I, I, I don't feel that you, you know, are really interested in this connection anymore. You want to close this chapter. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. The Fool, yeah. See, you're you're closing, you're ending this so you can go do something new. You're ready for something new. So it looks like you have made a decision. Maybe you're looking to see if your decision that you made was a good decision. Maybe you're just looking back just to see, like, did I make a good choice? Why is the fool here? The nine of pentacles. Yeah, here you are. You're independent. Some of you are newly single. Um, you're focusing on your money. Who? somebody's making somebody jealous. You may feel like this person is trying to make you jealous or you're trying to make this person jealous. Somebody still all caught up in their feelings. This could be you. Y'all could be still caught up in your feelings. Okay. Somebody was pretending like they loved somebody or something. There was some shocking news that came out. Could have been possibly about a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with this Queen of Cups. There's karma. There's karma here. And I'm also getting that there was a third party situation. And I'm getting finally came to the light. Not a page of wands. King of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. They're disappointed. Four of Cups and the Devil, Nine of Swords and the Chariot. They're disappointed because you're moving forward while they're still in this Nine of Swords energy and you're moving forward. They want to hear from you. I kind of felt like you, like some of y'all are just abandoning the situation. Um, like chuck the deuces and got the hell on. Yeah, Chariot, I feel like they want to talk to you, see where things are headed, because they're looking back at the situation with regrets. The Magician. They, I feel like, for some reason, like this person thought, now this is the, this is a like celebrity card. It's, these, the six of wands and the star is like a celebrity energy. They may have felt like they made you. I'm going to just put that out there. They're regretting this because they feel like they made you. And I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. They may have given you a lot. They may have felt like they invested into you. They feel like they made you who you are. So um, they feel let down. I'm getting like maybe this person brought you some new clothes or some new shoes or something new. Ace of Cups and the Justice, like some some something new. And then you switched up on them. Um, so this is their energy. And they're pretty pissed. Like they 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 are mad at you. 
They are disappointed. Okay, they disappointed how it ended. Um, and this is something that they keep thinking and going over and over and over in their head. Like I am getting like this person uh, may have. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the family card. This is also a marriage card. And this is also like finances and money. They feel like they made you. Wow, Capricorn. They feel like they made you. Wow. Why is the magician here? Who are y'all dealing with? <laughs> Why is the magician here? The death card. And then the and then you there's a breakup. And this happened out of the blue. I'm telling you, this Queen of Cups keeps coming out. And there was a message, some type of message. Okay, some type of message came through. The universe stepped in on in this connection. For some of you, this is a karmic. This is a karmic that you're dealing with in a karmic relationship. Okay. Now, the Five of Wands and the Death Card is feeling like, you know what? They may tell you that they aren't mad, but they are. They are disappointed. If anything, they're, they're disappointed. Now, we got the Four of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so, your hopes and fears. I feel like you want, you're looking for stability. You're looking for stability. I feel like you're working towards stability. Now, we got the Empress and the Queen of Wands. This person could have been like a side person or a baby mother or something like that. Or a baby father. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. You may uh, feel like this person tried to rush you into some type of commitment. I don't feel like that's something that you wanted. I feel like you were doing a lot of playing around too as well. You didn't take this uh, serious. You didn't take this connection serious because we got the seven of swords and lovers. And three of cups here. You feel like this person... I feel like that's a fear um, to be rushed into something. Like, you weren't ready to be rushed into this. They tried to rush you into it. Maybe by buying you things, um, giving you everything that you asked for to kind of bait you in. Um, we have the outcome as the hangman. So, that's things being on hold. That's also like a sacrifice being made. Why is the hangman here? The ace of swords. So, maybe you were waiting for the truth to come out so you could close this chapter. I feel like some of y'all were ready to close this chapter. You were juggling. I can't. I just feel like you were juggling a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you felt trapped in this connection. Um, you was trying to find a way out of this connection. And the truth set you free. Some of y'all are waiting for this person to communicate with you. We got the Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting like you got a chance to speak your truth. You got a chance to speak your truth or you're waiting for that chance to speak your truth. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Devil. The Offer. Was a toxic ass offer. I feel like you walked away. Okay. You walked away. From an offer. You said no to an offer. I feel like you're looking back. To see if you made the right decision. The devil and the three of cups here. I also feel like you wanted to kind of like take your time. You really went in a rush. Um, seven of Pentacles. 
Somebody got tired of waiting. Somebody got tired of waiting. Tower, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Swords. Somebody got tired of waiting and something blew up. Somebody got tired of waiting and something blew up. But I feel like you was waiting for this truth to be revealed. Um, I feel like you was waiting on it. Like it set you free. You've been waiting a long time. Okay, so you've been waiting a long time for this to come out. That, that somebody here was being juggled. Somebody here was being juggled. Seven of swords, two of pentacles, empress. So somebody thought they was the only one. They were definitely being juggled. And you played your game and then you was out. Okay. You may have felt like this person knew what they was getting themselves into. So the story comes out, guys. You were waiting for this truth to come out so it'll set you free. Yeah, I feel like you made a final decision. So you you finally did decide to make a final decision. I feel like you're kind of just looking back at, you know, just kind of like spying on this person to kind of see like what's going on with them. You're secretly watching them. All right. So that's the message that I have for Capricorns. If you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, all of that information is in the drop box below. As well as if you want to check out my website, that information is in the drop box below as well. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.